Oh. There we go. What the fuck is this? Did I just toboggan off the mountain? Okay. Oh, this already looks terrible. This already looks bad. I've got a whole trail of death to watch. Look at this. All these bloodstains. What is it? Why did the storm just stop? Okay. Oh, what the fuck is this? What is this fucking Ixion? Final Fantasy X time? What is this? Oh, good. I feel like I'm gonna get turned around. I feel like I've been turned around. Is that? Yeah, I might have been turned around. Okay. Maybe we could just follow the wall. Oh, there's a lot of blood here, too. Yeah, let's just follow the wall to wherever, uh, wherever it may lead. What is... Ow. What is this? Oh, come on. All right. What is this shit? What is this shit? I don't like that. What is that? This is like, what the fuck, man? Toxic ass thunder horse. This area is so big, I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. I mean, if I follow the wall, eventually I'll get there, right? This sucks. I mean, it's, it's not as cancer as the Iron Passage yet. Or memory of the old Iron King. I mean, those enemies suck. But, um... Yeah. Unless the boss is in, like, a pit in the middle of the area. I think, uh... Fuck.
No, god damn it. I dodged the wrong way. I should have do just dodged backwards. Look at that tiny walk animation. Just... All right. Okay, so I don't even know where to go to recover my souls. That's how lost I am. I just gotta find the wall. I had a lot of souls too, I had enough for a level up. Oh, there's my souls. Okay. That actually was... Okay. Bam. Okay, we don't need that anymore because we're not fighting the any fire dragons right now. So if this is so close to the starting area though, like was I supposed to go backwards from where I was? To find the boss? Huh. There's gotta be a way. <laughs> oh, here's, uh... More blood stains. Ooh, this looks like a... Corridor leads down. Maybe. Fuck. Alright. If you get the right positioning, then the great sword's good for those guys. Uh. Hmm. I think I see another horse ad. This area kind of sucks, though. Like, it's a little on the dull side. Good enough. Man, I got enough souls for a level up now, too. At least I see a structure off in the distance. That could be something, right? Hmm. Come on. There's gonna be some there's gonna be a fog gate somewhere in this hell. Really? Oh 
Oh, what? Ah. Every other time, three hits was enough, but this time, three hits was not enough. I must not have gotten counter damage or something. I had like a little sliver. God damn it, though. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. The toboggan. There we go. I hate this area already, and I've only been here, like, one, like, three times. <laughs> yeah, this place sucks, dude. I don't even know which way I'm going. I, I don't even know where to go to recover my souls. Oh, wait, wait. I think this way. I hope this way. Uh, about 30, 32, I guess. I'm a little old, but I know it works out. What's my secret? I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't think I look that young. But I don't. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do any sort of drugs or anything. And uh, that's the closest thing I got to a secret. It's not really much of a secret, though. Is that? Is this it? I don't know if this is. I need to drink less soda and stuff. I haven't drank a soda in like a month. But that's why I'm so fat. Well, that and I'm lazy ass. But, um... Other than that, I guess I... I guess maybe I look a little young. But soon I'm gonna be older. And I don't like being older. What the fuck? How did I get turned around so much? Alright, we got this area here. We got this landmark. Okay. Dried root. What happened to me in high school? Oh my god. <laughs> well, um... I don't know, it was uh, pretty normal high school stuff, like... Where, when I was in high school, I, I went to like three different ones. Because my, my family moved all the time. Because we, we were broke. Um, so I've been to like a bit, I've been... What the hell? Is that a person? I've been to a big high school, I've been to a small high school, I've been... All over, really. Um, you know, I was pretty much a nerd. Still am. Wasn't really one of the popular guys, so I didn't really go to any parties or anything like that. But it, it did kind of suck, like... Being the new kid three times during high school. I mean, like, it, do, it does suck, but when I was in junior year... I got together with, I got some good friends who are still my friends today, for the most part, and I think, uh, I think that helps, is if you have a lot of good friends and stuff, that'll help you get through it. But I mean, like, I, I don't know, I spent most of it living with my dad, 
Uh, that was part of the reason why I left uh, where I was at. Because in my sophomore year, I was at a, I was at a high school down in Florida. And it was, it was terrible. Like, the classes were complete dreck. Like, legit, I took, took a sociology class as an elective. And the entire class was, okay, class, copy these notes from the blackboard down and then you can talk amongst yourselves for the rest of the time. We watched fucking Scooby-Doo in biology class. What the fuck does Scooby-Doo have to do with biology? So yeah, that edu that public school system down in Florida was terrible. So I, I moved um, I moved to Massachusetts, and it was. I'm not gonna say that it was a lot better because it really wasn't. But compared to compared to the Florida school system, it was a lot better. But you know, ow. Americans American schools aren't really all that great, because half of them are like. Unless you go into a private school, half the public schools are like... Fuck. Half the public schools can't afford to buy books. They can barely afford to pay their teachers. And like... They're not great. Although there was one time in high school that I had a project that I had to turn in for my history class. And for some reason, or I think it was U.S. history. Our U.S. history assignment was to find a song that tells you, like, what it means to be American, right? And you had to do a report on that song. And one of the stipulations was, if, you're, uh, if you brought in... Because you had to play the song on a CD player. Uh, on a CD player when you brought, it, brought the report in, right? If your, if your song didn't work for whatever reason. Then you had to sing it, right? And I, the night before the report was due. I did the report real quick. I, I wrote up some bullshit because I didn't put a lot of effort into my classes. I'll be the first to admit it. I, I never did homework unless it was a project. Because I just didn't care. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll use it. Oh, yeah, that's a healing spring. Okay. Uh, and so I burned a CD real quick. Didn't test it out. I just burned the CD. So we get into class the next day. I get ready to give my give, give my report. So far, nobody has had any issues with it. I'm the only one in class who had issues that day. I couldn't play the song because I burned the CD wrong. I think I burned it as a data disc. And not as an actual CD that could be read by a typical boombox. So, and you know what song I did my report on because I was lazy. I did a... As Hulk Hogan's theme song from the 80s. I am a real American. Fight for our right like every man. You know. So. I, uh. I was an idiot. Another one? Fucking hell. Wasn't even done fighting this one yet. So yeah, I, I was the only asshole who had to sing a song for history class that day. And it was Hulk Hogan's theme song from the 80s. And it was lame. And I'm still embarrassed about it, but, you know, it, it, it worked out. Still not as good as, like, when I was in art class. I was, uh, I was sitting, like, with a group of, like, three girls. And we spent most of our classes talking about whale dick. So that was, uh, that was, uh, that was actually the only art class that I liked. Because I'm not, I'm not good at art. I'm not, I'm not really good at being creative, right? So, being able to be in a group of girls, talk about whale dick. And, and you know, like, two of them were, were pretty hot. You know, I, I think that was a good art class. 
I didn't learn jack shit about art. But, you know, I uh, had a good time, and I think that's what counts. And, you know, that's the weird thing about art, art class in America, too, is that they don't teach you... They don't really teach you a whole lot about art history. They just te teach you about making art, and then they do it, like, poorly at that. Because, like... I, I can't even draw... I can't even draw a circle. Like, a, a straight line. I can't even draw. I blame... I, I blame myself for that one. I can't blame the school system. But I can blame them for, like, my complete lack of knowledge on art history. Like... I know the name Picasso. I know the name Monet. And, um... And I know Leonardo da Vinci. And I know Michelangelo. Painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, and I think that's it. I think that's all I know about art history. And that's kind of sad, because, like, sometimes I, I think about it. It's like, maybe it's something I should know. Like, maybe I should, uh, expand my horizons beyond DeviantArt pages full of cat girl porn or whatever and get classical. I mean, at least music class, even if, if when they weren't even if they weren't teaching about, like, actually playing music. I at least, uh, you know. We at least listen to Vivaldi. Or Beethoven or Mozart or something. Then again, I think there was one music class that I had in high school. Where we just watched the, uh, Romeo and Juliet. But not like a classic Romeo and Juliet movie, No. We watched the one with fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, where they have, like, pistols called long swords or whatever. And, and, and like, Mercutio was, was, was a pill-popping deviant who, was sent, who would send you on, like, LSD trips and shit. I'm like, how nuts is that? It's a pretty bad interpretation of Romeo and Juliet. And, like, honestly, I, I, I kind of hate it. To be honest. Because. My little sister. Would watch it on repeat. 24-7. Fuck I got turned around again. Would watch it on repeat 24-7. Along with a couple other movies. Which. There were some good movies in there. They got ruined by her. Like Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. She played that incessantly. That's actually a pretty good movie. Or. The Edge. With Anthony Hopkins. Which is the weirdest one? She called it the bear movie, right? Because in that movie, Anthony Hopkins, like, murders a bear with a spear. And then, keep in mind, she was, like, five at the time, so... We, we, we didn't really pay attention to Rated R or anything in my household as a kid. It didn't really matter, like... Fucking... Where, when I was, like... How old was I? I was like 10, right? And for some reason, my mom had a VH, VHS tape called Lucky Chances. And it's based off of a book by Jackie Collins about... It's like a... Like, back in the day, it seemed like okay. But now that I look back, it was basically like romance schlock. Because it was about, like, uh, these mafia dudes. This mafia family... Like, the Santangelos, right? And about coming up in the world and, you know, the, the girls always wanted to fuck the guys. And they talk about, like, you know, hitting the G-spot and all that. I'm fucking 10 years old. I don't know what's going on. But I watched the movie first, and of course they didn't have talk. They didn't. I don't think they talked about the G-spot in the movie, but it was a four-hour long fucking movie. And I barely watched it, so like, you know, it could have could have been fucking anything. This was a nut like I should not have been reading that book as a kid. It was a good book though. Talking about fingering people in G spots and shit. I mean like for a ten year old, that's pretty badass. But, you know. Uh for adult me it's kinda like, okay, this is Meant to be like Harley Quinn romance. This isn't stuff that I should be reading. Though I haven't really read that stuff in a long time.
Now I kind of want to read it again. Shit. They also used to watch Purple Rain on repeat, too. Like, in a, that movie with Prince. That was a damn good album, though. Like, I hated that they played it 24-7 on repeat. But at the same time, like, the, the actual songs were good. Like, Prince was a damn fine artist. Although Purple Rain is the only album I know by him. I don't, I don't know any of the other ones. But that one album was really fucking good. Okay, I might be able to recover my soul soon. I'm hoping. That's the place I got ambushed. By the two horses before. God damn it. Can I please make it to my soul? They should be out back, right? Yeah, there they are. Fin to get gang banged by a bunch of horses again. Alright. <clears throat> Let's wait out here. I think the idea is that you have to like wait in the storm, wait out the storm in the these places, but they're so spread out that like you never make it to the next area. Man, that was a that was a long rant. That was a long ramble. I I, I it was thinking back, it was a little incoherent. Like I I couldn't really string anything together. So I'm sorry about that. Like, I don't know what I was saying. But it's all true stories. Yes! Uh, this guy seems to be running this way. So maybe this guy know maybe this guy knows where the boss door is. That guy looks scary. Who is that guy? Oh, this guy does look a little Ah, fuck. No, 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 not another one. Fuck it, Al. Can we not? Can we not do this and say that we did? Can we not? Can we not, please? No, that was a bad time. That was a bad time to heal. I don't like this place. I can't even find the fucking boss door. Can't even find the boss door. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. When I woke up this morning, I didn't, th I didn't say to myself, hey... I'm going to get gangbanged by a bunch of horses. That wasn't how I expected my day to go, but here we are. At the, by the end of this, I'm going to hate the fucking DLC. But I'm going to do it. I, t I said I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. 
Sometimes that doesn't always work out, but this time I hope it does. We are sitting on a lot of souls, too. If I could get back to where I was without dying... Honestly, I don't even know which way I'm going. Oh yeah, we want to head this way. Yeah, because that, that's the place we were at before. Okay. Let's head this way. We'll see what we can do. Uh, haven't even fought the boss yet. I'm already upset. Alright. There we go. Frickin' hate these horses. I don't like this game. I don't like these horses. Got another traveler. Yeah, we're just uh, murder for no reason. No good reason. Then again, what good what good soul is gonna be traveling through this friggin' area? I noticed that the horses only seem to come with the storm. Fucking horse. Come on, really? Well, whatever. No, I don't want to do that. Good enough. I really hope they despawn, like, after a couple kills. I don't want to be sitting there and, like, killing them ten times each. Because I can't even find my way through the fucking storm. Oh, okay, I think that's the way to deal with them. Basically, just uh, get behind them, three hit with the great sword, and that's it. I think. I just want to get my souls back, dog. I just want to get my souls back at this point. Then maybe I can homeward bone, go level up. Because we do have a lot of souls. Alright. Come on. Fucking horse. No! Not again! I hate horses. Ah. 
Okay. Come on, you piece of shit. No, stop it. All right, we need to be patient. Thank God. Now I have no idea which way I'm going. I'm gonna wait for the storm to pass. Oh, okay, cool. Convenient. We're here. All right, I got my souls. Boom. Don't give up. Okay. I don't want to waste these souls, so I'm going to return and spend them real quick. <laughs> 